Kia ora. You may remember me. I was a pro rugby player for 16 years and played 71 tests for the All Blacks. I love rugby. But at the heart of it, I'm just a Māori boy who loves Aotearoa and the outdoors. I'm on the board! <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> We're spoiled for choice, really. Nice little penny. Oh. <laughs> Diving, hunting, fishing, and foraging about the place. It's me. Yum. No more luck, bro. I'll end up in the drink. Nah, you'll be right, mate. Oh. In this series, I'll take you on the road as we meet hearty local characters. <laughs> you can't give yourself a nickname, please. <laughs> will guide me through what they do best in some of the most beautiful parts of Aotearoa. Welcome back anytime, brother. Kia ora. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> this is Piri Sticky Talk. Tēnei wiki, I'm in the Bay of Plenty to catch up with a couple of familiar faces. Fucks, man, this is a ghost from the past. And some championships. <laughs> <laughs> Latch on to some ika. Put some guts into it, son! Ka whakamātou hokeo i etahi āhuatango o ngā tonga tukuiho. Piri's doing a great job. First up, I'm in Rotorua, where an old mate of mine is going to take me out on the lake for a fish. The weather's not looking too flash above Lake Rotorua today, but I doubt that's going to put off a bro like Inia Maxwell. Ching! <laughs> Shucks, man, this is a ghost from the past. How's it going, Kath? Good, bro. Ko Inia whare porera maki whara tōku ingoa, nō te aroa tōku iwi, nō te aroa tōku waka, ngāti whakaue me ngāti rangi wewehi. Bauha! Kia ora. It's been a while, hasn't it? Mm, look at my hair, bro. It's a bit more grey. I whānau mai a inia i tētahi whānau kapahaka rongonui. A, ko a mahitahi māua i mua. Bumped into him years ago when he came into camp with the ABs and showed the boys uh, about the haka. What's it been? Yeah. Ten? About that. When I met Piri, it was like, awesome. Here's a Māori boy and he's leading the haka and we haven't got the default captain. So to get oh, a Māori bro. boy who can really show the world how it should be done, I was very grateful to have have him in the team and see that. Good day to be out on the water. Oh, right, that's all. We're out there. What are we going to go and catch, Dave? Trout, bro. Oh, we got rainbow or brownies? Sounds good to me. Brown trout and rainbow trout are popular fishing species in the lakes and awa of the North Island. Apparently, rainy overcast days are good for lake fishing, so hopefully this roto puts it on for us. I've got this flash uh, life jacket for you, bro. Taylor made. 5XL. <laughs> We're going in, Gary. Is there any petrol in here? No, we'll just give it a cut of here. Waru te kau kilometer Pūrua Tenui o Rotorua. In the North Island, that's second only to Taupo. O te wai te kaiwhakaue i te iwi o te Aroa, who first settled in the 14th century. Here's our lure, bro. And then now what we got, bro, on the hook is a teaser. Just more glitter, bro, for the fish to get attracted to. I, when the uh, trout bites, yes. you stroke it straight away or? Yeah, a lot of people, you know, they'll go, just just lift your rod. Just lift it, bro, it'll, it'll hook itself. No. I, I put the ratchet on over here so you get the, you get that sound. Yeah. So if we're too busy having a fuffy and a quarter, we we'll hear the oh, oh, shit. There it is. Soy. Sure. All right, so sure. Here, bro. Without further ado, mate, stick that over there. Oh, we're starting now. Hey, we're on the roto. Today, we're trawling for trout, which means we let out our lines with the motor still running, so the lures swim behind us as we move across the roto. So you see the tip? You look at that tip and it's nodding. That's a good sign, it means the lure's doing, doing this. It's quite calm here on Lake Rotorua, a bit different from my last trout fishing experience. Have you ever caught a trout? Yep. Where? Down in Turing. Oh, hey. I uh, was fly fishing up the uh, upper Tongariro with uh, Irai and Tau. Fly fishing? All right. Shirt. Sure. I got a blooming professional troutman in here. I don't know about that. There's a different vibe here on the lake, and no offense to the bro. But there's a lot less action too. Is it no nibbles yet, mate? Not that I know. But sometimes, mate, you can come out and just catch a cold.
Come on, fishies! I was definitely worried. Oh, the pressure was intense, mate. You know, I was like, oh, man, these guys are going to think I'm not a fisherman. Oh, you haven't got, a, like, a jinx thing or anything, have you? Oh, I could feel the build-up of banter that was going to, you know, be unleashed on me. I've caught everything every time I've gone out, so <clears throat> no pressure. And I could sense pity was starting to get that little cheekiness down there. Hey, you a fisherman or what? Because we're not going so well so far. <sighs> Bro, she's a tough day today in the office. Sat out there for a wee while before he got a bite. So long, in fact, we started getting a bit of cabin fever. This one was going to be funny. We could get the glass. How? I didn't quite catch that. Can you show me again? <laughs> 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 anyway, hurry up and catch a fish, yeah? Can't catch a blimmin' cold, this guy. With no bite so far, things are getting a little desperate. But Ine has one last trick up his sleeve to help lure out the ika. And cue fish and... And just like that... <laughs> I was like, bye, 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 fish on! Come on, you bugger! Come on, Gary! Put some guts into it, son! Here it is, coming in. All right. Go one. Yeah! <laughs> Story <laughs> cast! <laughs> oh, bro, the pressure is off, the pressure is off. Well, you're lucky, B. I know, I know, I was feeling it, bro. And I told you when you blew that conch, well, what happened? It's not a monster, but it's an eco, bro. <laughs> Just over here, see how it's mouth? It's, uh, it hasn't got a hook. Yeah, it's a hen. One nil. <laughs> OK. One okay, nil. No, no, I don't mind playing this game now. <laughs> You're on the board. I've scored a decent-sized female rainbow trout, and I'm feeling pretty good about being the first to land a kite. If this one catches another eco, you can take it. Oh, yeah, I'll let you have the rope. Right. If you need help, I'll just um, show you how to wind it, keep the tension on the line. You want to steer the bait, please? Oh, easy. Just <laughs> in that direction, cousin. But Inya kindly reminds me that it was his putatara ko that landed us the trout. So it's time for me to return the favour. OK. And toru fa. <laughs> OK, we'll, we'll try that again. OK, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Stink of elephant. No? No, you get it. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it all right. <laughs> Probably would have been uh, there for hours trying to figure it out myself. <laughs> the weather's packing in, and my teeth poo tatara attempts have failed to inspire Inya's line. So he's given up on the trout, and instead, we're going to visit a local sacred spot. I thought, oh, well, wouldn't mind taking them to a special place um, for a lot of us here in Te Arawa, Mokoya Island. Mokoya is a large island in the centre of Lake Rotorua, and because of its cultural significance, access is limited, so I'm bloody lucky to be getting a look around. Sure. Oh, here we are, brother. Te Motu Tapu Atini, though, or Mokoya. So usually when we have our wānanga here, we've got all of our warriors lined up here, about 200, and then they'll issue the wero. Now, awesome wānanga that we have here. Special place for us. Over there, you've got the waharoa. There's two tanekai up the top there. And obviously, there's hinamoa there. But anyway, we're uh, going to have a look at the bath, eh? Sure. Bath? Yeah. Mokoya Island is a setting for one of Aotearoa's most famous love stories, that of hinamoa and two tanekai. Their love was forbidden, but Hinimoa swam three kilometres across the lake to see her lover. It's one of Māori Den's most famous love stories. You know, Paul Karekarean? Right. Lovely romantic story, really. And it's in this historic place that Inya's got a special treat for my cold, wet feet. Hinimoa's pool, which is what we call Waikimi here, is where uh, Tutanekai realised that she had made the swim and had made it. Be good for us just to soak our feet or something, eh? Rotorua is famous for its countless geothermic hot pools, and this one's got a hell of a view. I'm hoping that it's not too... Oh, no, that's the one. After all my hard work on the rod, I think I've earned this. Ooh. Hi. This is one of the special treats that we have over here on Makoya. When we're here doing our wānanga stuff, awesome to have all of the warriors in here doing our haka, some of the chants that we're learning, and just the kōrero that you end up having with boys from all over the country. 
The local iwi have been holding Modako training camps on Mokoya for over 30 years. How many people have come onto the island to do uh, Modako? Oh, I'd say thousands, to be honest, bro. Once you're here, once you're a Taiaha warrior, that's it. You're it for life. There's a loyalty and a connect that we all have. It was quite nice to dip the feet in the old hot pool there. You can see how relaxing it is when you're there, uh, out on the uh, island. Our motto over here is ko au, ko koe, ko koe, ko au. I am you and you are me. I can think of no better place for young Māori men to develop and learn about their tikanga and themselves. If I can eat, Inia reckons he's going to show me the art of taiaha. Then, I head over to Makitu to go tamuri fishing with New Zealand Sevens player Joe Weber. <laughs> Kei roto rua hau me te karaua nei me Inia Maxwell and he's showing me around Mokoya Island. Mokoya Island is a very special place where we do taiaha wānanga. Each year, hundreds of rangatahi go through wānanga on Mokoya Island for Mōrāko. Today, Inia stashed a couple of taiaha on the boat so he can give me a bit of a lesson. See if he knows much about Māori weaponry. So here we have the taiaha, bro. The last time I picked up a uh, rako would have been when I was at Te Ote. I was just lucky enough that I didn't get a twack to the head. <laughs> so here we have the arero, bro, or tongue. No. The arero was um, basically used for thrusting and impaling. Over here we have the matarua, or the upoko, or the head. And as you can see here, there's two eyes there and two eyes there, so the playaha can see in all directions. Over here we've got the awe, made of bird feathers, muka flax, dog hair sometimes, sometimes human hair. But the awe is used to distract, so when you shake it like that, boom! If you see the eyes just go down, then you're away. Over here, the tinana, or the body, like us. The ate, or the legs, if you like. Now the blade used for striking, parrying, slicing. And over here, like the arero, this is called the row, used for thrusting as well. The taiaha was the most commonly used weapon by our warrior. Why? Because it's just so versatile. The tire is used in the wero, a challenge at the start of a pōwhiri, in which a series of precise moves are performed. It's been a long time since my high school days, so Inya's giving me a well-needed refresher. Should we give that a crack? Hoop! 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 How did that feel? Yeah, I was but unco. <laughs> but unco? Getting back to it, that's the only problem. I'm rusty. But Inya still reckons I'm ready to go. Thank you. Whoosh! <laughs> was it the... Oh. Yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it. That's the one. I thought it was the right hand. I'm right-handed. Usually right hand. You see? <laughs> Maybe I'm not quite ready. So I'll do it. Oh! Stop about here. Keep your eye on the man. Thing down that way. Kapai. Aye. Right. And come back to do your moves. Oh. 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 And then he'll stop in front and say, pick it up. Me nui ake taku whakaharato. I'll get Inia to book me in for the next wānanga. In the meantime, another old rugby mate has found out I'm in the area and he's called me out for a fish. Just north of Lake Rotorua is the small coastal town of Makitu, right in the middle of the Bay of Plenty. Out of breather, so whereabouts are we? One of your little sneaky spots, G? Yeah, uh, just off the point, just out of Makitu, brother. Not far from Makitu, just off town point here. Kia ora, I'm Joe Weber, and I live here in the uh, beautiful Makitu. Are you originally from here, though? Yeah, I grew up in Tapuki. Yep. It's about five minutes from Makatu. And then, uh, yeah, went over to Hamilton Boys. What'd you go there for? And uh -huh. some championships. <laughs> 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 and, uh, yeah, and then um, Sevens relocated back here, so I was at, able to move over back home and live in Makatu. Yeah. Joe Weber has been a star of the All Black Sevens for years. We've been mates on social media for a while, 
So it's about time I popped in for a visit. See what he gets up to in his neck of the woods when he's got a bit of free time on his hands. Hell, I'm trying to get rid of beta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and old Pity just always uh, talking on the old Instagram, you know, into the same thing, so we're just always uh, giving each other a bit of slack. Just wind down and give it a whack, cuz. And just like that, yep. <laughs> it's on. Oh, there we go, cuz. Cheer, mate! <laughs> I've caught a snapper straight off. No my what? Too much, though. Too much. Is that a panny, cuz? Yeah, she put in the pan. That's right, brother. Wasn't a big one, but ended the first one. Pretty happy with that one, actually. Too good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much, all right, eh? With three rods set off the back of the waka, Joe's system is about as low effort as old Enya's. But with one catch in the first five minutes, he paiake tēnei timatanga. Snapper are another popular fishing species here in Aotearoa. The legal size is 30 centimetres, but they can grow up to a metre. And they are known for their big niho. And they are definitely biting today. We just get a feed, I reckon. Pretty lucky, man, to be so close to um, such good fishing and diving. Mm -hmm. The old man, he taught me everything I know. Coming out of um, Makatu here since I was, you know, four, five, six with him, so just learned everything off him. And um, yeah, grateful lads that he taught me. The missus loves the Kaimawana, so oh, she can't get enough of living out here. And my young fella Kuhn, he's, um, he's five now and he's at the age, he's sort of in there with his snorkel and flippers helping me kinners and powers and all that, so it's wicked to be able to teach him now and just be out there with him all the time. Yeah. Nice, bro. All good one, eh? Might be a bit little. Makitu was the landing site of Te Arawa Waka, which carried the first settlers of Aotearoa 800 years ago. I Eneira, the community is still predominantly Māori. We got a decent haul on the rods, but before we jumped on them, Joe put out a long line. Time to haul her in and see how she went. Now the long line's good, it just, uh, you know, it doesn't take up much time and I can just drop it there, go for a dive, get some crazy muscles, go back and check it. Long lines have one main line, to which smaller lines with baited hooks are attached all the way down. The first few are coming up empty. I'm worried we might be out of luck. Hey. Oh, it's an easy system that he's got going. It's not too bad, actually. The bro's got it on, on point. It's a good feeling. Hi, cuz. <laughs> Bay of plenty, all right. Time to get this feed back to shore. Not too bad, cuzzy. Yeah. Got what we needed anyway. Yeah, cuz, have you enjoyed it? Kai time, eh? I'll beat you there, cuz I know. <laughs> That's one thing I'm quick at getting to. <laughs> too much, fella. Can you cook her? That is the question. I miss his meat. If I can eat, then you're causing me back to show off some local sites. Oh, wow. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful name. Ah, ka whakamato o i te whakairo. Pity's doing a great job. Oh, babe. Turn it on for you. I can do is having a mean tangi. I'll go turn on the tip. The huarere isn't looking too flash today in the North Island, where I'm visiting the Māori village of Ohinumutu, the original settlement of Rotorua. 650 plus years ago was when Ngāti Whakaui settled here, so pretty important place. I remember things come. I believe there's a key to it. <laughs> come on, bro. Kia ora. Kia ora. Wa karanga te anoa au e inia. He reckons he's got something pretty special to show me. My plan is I want to take uh, Piri out to another special place of mine, which is the river, Awahau. 
This owl is known originally as Te Mimi or Pekehaua. Mimi? <laughs> yeah, Mimi. Pekehaua was the Tanifa guardian of the, of the awa. This is what uh, gives us the wairua. We'd always come down here, Rangi Wewehi, still do, to have a uh, karaki and a whakamoimiti before, in particular, Kapahaka festivals. Te Mimi or Pekehaua, or the puna of Pekehaua, also known as Awaho. I've only just through research found out that Pity's middle name is Awaho, so I want Awaho to meet Awaho. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful name. We come here to uplift ourselves, get our wairua set. Real good feeling to know that we've got our tūpuna there. It's our people, it's our life force. It used to be really overgrown. The hapu have basically cleared out all the surrounding shrub and everything. Now we've got some good access. The puna to me was always just a bit of corridor that mum and them would always talk about. It was like, oh, OK, a spring, oh, OK. They didn't have even seen it. So, yeah, it was pretty emotional seeing it for the first time. I just jumped in, mate, put my head in straight in the spring. And I started having a tangiwetu, you know, even a real cry because, I don't know, it was like meeting someone who I had known for so long. You get that feeling out there, um, that inner peace. No, my height in my car. Wanna jump in, be? Bro. Yeah, we're going to do something cultural, eh? Aurea inia e tino pai ki tera whakaaro. He reckons we need a better rainy day activity, so we're paying a visit to Ngā Kete Tukuiho, the New Zealand Māori Arts and Crafts Institute. You know, he carves it up on the field. So I thought, oh, well, bro, see if you're a real carver. Kia ora matua. Ah, pēana. You know, we've got some real taonga people out there. Matua Clive Fugel, you couldn't get a kōrero from a better man because he was there right from day one. 51 years I was in the first intake, 1967. Never left the place. Is that you in that picture in the office there? There was a handsome one with the glasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this institute is the leading wānanga for whakairo in the country. Each year, only five students can be accepted into the intense three-year course. Each year he has its own different style of garbage. We teach all of them here. There's oh, yeah. eight, eight different disciplines that they teach. A lot of marais are going to be pan-tribal. That's why it's good that they learn the different styles. It was quite nice just to listen to his cordial, how he fell in love with carving and all the knowledge that he's picked up over the years. It was a hobby and it just went ballistic. <laughs> what other job would you want to have that you're enjoying doing your hobby as a job as well? So. Well, there we go, carving. Get you to clean it up. Clean it up. Mm. You know how you clean out the ruck, bro? Clean no, it that, up, that, that's the Ford set. Oh, 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 yeah. I just clean them. Clear the wall, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully, I've picked something up from this rangatira, and I don't mess up his students' mahi. How's he doing, Matua Clive? Yeah, he's all right. Carving it up, brother. But he's doing a great job. Yeah, he didn't make a mess out of that, so that was good. You never know, he might go home and start carving his house now. Yep, I think I've mastered for Kaido now. I better leave these guys to it. I've got a chart to prep for the smoker. Might not be what everybody else does. Piercing. See how I said there was a hen? And see, that's the row. Eee. The salt bro is actually to draw the moisture from the fish. Crown sugar. Crown sugar cows. Yeah, sure. If you can open up the kuaha for me, my bro. Every man should have one of these, I tell you. Yeah. I reckon 20 minutes, and then we come back, and then we'll change the sawdust, eh? Can't wait. Just go. I moved back here from uh, 17 years in Wellington. Came back home because I knew what my children were going to miss. The marae is te papa i oru. The whare nui over here is Tamate Kapua, which is our um, chief, who captained our waka. Uh, and this whare kai, our whare kai is named after his brother, Whakaturia. It's, it's difficult not to know about your culture living here, so um, very fortunate. You know, when you've got culture on the doorstep, you don't have to go to a classroom to learn about who you are. Right. Te take. Right. 
Okay, okay, okay. Amen. 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 He's uh, definitely an entertainer for all the kapahaka he's done over the years. Payana, payana. Hey man, don't go on that thing, man.